Hello everyone and welcome to Aditya Gets Education. Today we are going to learn about circulatory system. You already know that our body has different organs and according to their functions organs are grouped into different organ system. And these organ system work together so that our body can function normally. We have already learned about digestive system and excretory system and continuing with that today we will learn about circulatory system and at the end of the video you will get to know about the organs and the functions of circulatory system. So please watch the video till end. Basically what is circulatory system? Yes, an organ system that helps to transport substances inside our body is called circulatory system. It means the system that moves blood throughout the body is called circulatory system. The circulatory system blood and network of blood vessels. Now let us see the functions of heart, blood and blood vessels in detail. So first is heart. The heart is the key organ in the circulatory system and it is the muscular organ that pumps blood to all parts of the body. Okay? And the heart also receives blood from all the organs of the body. Now see in this picture. Yes. This is circulatory system. And heart is confined in the middle of the both lungs of the chest cavity. Heart pumps oxygen rich blood. Listen carefully. Heart pumps oxygen rich blood to all parts of the body through this red colored thin tube like structure known as blood vessels. Heart also receives deoxygenated blood. It means blood containing carbon dioxide or we can say impure blood. So heart also receives deoxygenated blood from all part of the body to the heart. Through this blue colored thin tube like structure known as blood vessel. Okay. A doctor uses stethoscope to listen the heartbeat. And dear children, do you know in an adult or healthy person has the heartbeat in rest position nearly 72 per minute. But Heartbeat of a hardcore physical worker may go up to 180 per minute. Yes. Next is blood vessels. So blood vessels are thin tube like structures that run through the entire body to transport blood. There are three kinds of blood vessels and they are arteries, veins and capillaries. Let us have a look on them in detail one by one. So first we will see arteries. Arteries carry blood from the heart to various organ of the body. Okay. And through these arteries oxygen rich blood flows. Okay. Remember it. Through arteries, oxygen-rich blood flows. It means pure blood flows in the arteries. Arteries are red in color and arteries are located at the depth in the body. Okay, understood? Next is veins. Veins bring back the blood from different organs of the body back to the heart. Okay? Through veins only deoxygenated blood. It means yes blood containing carbon dioxide or 
impure blood so through veins only deoxygenated blood flows it is violet blue in color and it is located at the upper layer of the body and because of this sometimes it is visible also so next is capillaries arteries branch out into smaller and thinner blood vessels called arterioles same as veins also branch out into smaller and thinner blood vessels called venules and these further branch into even small blood vessels called capillaries understood okay now capillaries are the smallest blood vessels okay remember it capillaries are the smallest blood vessels now let us revise it so see in this picture this is yes this red colored blood vessel is artery artery branch out into smaller and thinner blood vessel called arteriole and this is the violet blue colored blood vessel is vein yes and vein branch out into smaller and thinner blood vessel called venules this is the capillary yes which connect both artery and veins i hope you here understood so capillaries help in the exchange of gases water and nutrients between the blood and the tissues okay next is blood blood is a red colored fluid that flows through the blood vessel from the heart to the all part of the body and then come back to the blood transports nutrients absorbed from the food oxygen carbon dioxide water and water products inside the body okay children so a healthy body must have a good circulatory system and we should follow some steps like doing different physical activities such as running swimming playing etc help our circulatory system to work well and yes eating healthy food is also a key component to keep our body healthy so this was all about circulatory system and if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon yes till then stay safe and have a nice day